All right, hey everybody, I just wanted to show you something real quick in Cyberpunk on the Switch 2. Um, if you've got the PC version of it, which I imagine most of you have by now, you can actually take advantage of the cross-save progression feature and um, use that to cheat and give yourself some extra money and all that stuff, um, which, you know, at this point, if you've already played through the game and beat it a few times, why not? So let me show you how simple this uh, process is real quick. So here you see I've got Cybercat, which is a cyberpunk save editor tool. I've got Cyberpunk running here, which is on the Switch 2, and then I've got it running in the background over here, which is on my PC. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and do a save. Come on, there we go. So pay attention, that's going to be manual save 5, so I'm going to do new save. And let me go ahead and exit to the main menu over here. Go to confirm. While that's doing that, I'm going to go to my PC version here, which that should be in the cloud by now. Go ahead and hit load game. There it is. So that is the save we're looking for. I'll go ahead and open this one. Okay, no. So now that I've got that here, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And the reason why I'm doing this is I want to be absolutely certain that I don't accidentally corrupt my uh, save file. So if you get a uh, save file stuck in the cloud that the game crashes on the Switch, then you're basically screwed. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new save here. I'm going to name it Manual Save 69. Hit close. Exit the main menu. Confirm. And while that's doing its thing, let's go back over to Cybercat here and I will load the save. So let me scroll down to manual save number 69. Open this. Open the dat file. And this does take a minute sometimes, so just be patient. Okay, so you'll see it's showing all of your information here. So what you can do is you can change your level, street cred, all of this stuff to basically whatever you want, but just make sure it's within reasonable tolerances because again if you corrupt your save file um, there's not really a whole lot you can do except for just go back to a previous so I want to just go ahead and let's say I want some more money I'm tired of being broke so let's just go ahead and update that money to this amount and I'm gonna hit save so go back and tell it to save over this one to this folder and remember that number was 69 which nice Okay, so time to reload it on the PC just to make sure that those changes actually went through. Okay, so let's check our inventory real quick and see. There we go. So I've got a ton of money. I didn't change anything else, just this for now. I'll mess around with it later, but just to make life easier, let me go ahead and save. I'm going to create a new save here. That should upload to the cloud. Okay, so you see it's on the cloud exit the main menu and let's go back over to the switch version load game this gets really confusing with how it shows this sometimes honestly I think I could probably just do manual save 70 so let me open that I've got so many save files, it gets really confusing with um, going back and forth between the two, but, I mean, here we are. All right, now let's take a look and see what I've got here, and check it out. Loaded with money. Very simple process. Um, there's probably a slightly easier way to do it. Maybe I don't need to be saving as often as I am, but I want to be sure that I don't actually lose anything. And uh, it's just one of those things. Like, just be careful because you can completely destroy your save file.
But um, if you're replaying Cyberpunk, where in my instance, this is the third time that I'm playing through the game again, I don't really want to have to go through and do every single thing again, like collecting everything I need to craft items, etc. So I'm just going to take advantage of this, make this playthrough a little bit more enjoyable, and I hope that this helps somebody out. All right, thanks for watching.